Axiom Verge was one of those games that I couldn't exactly describe when I first played it. I mean, the graphics were great, the music was great, the story was great, the gameplay was great, and it was a Metroidvania nonetheless. But the weirdest thing about it is how it could bend reality with its Axiom Disruptor gun thingy. So, yeah, I kind of liked it. <laughs> so when I heard that the Indie Box was actually doing Axiom Verge, I kinda had to subscribe. And the next month they announced that it was good, that the next game was gonna be Freedom Planet, so I'm pretty much in it for the long haul, people. So, welcome to a new segment for Fanfickle known as Indie Boxing, where I just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Indie Boxing? Really? That's the title we're going with? You know, out of context, that would sound completely different from what was intended. And in this corner, we've got Rogue Legacy! So, this is Axiom Verge. So, we're gonna find out what's inside, and take a gander, and uh, if you stick around, maybe you can uh, get a chance to get your own copy of the game. I mean, not the physical copy, but a Steam key for the game, if you play on Steam and stuff like that. But, anyways, let's see what's inside this box. Well, the first thing you see is styrofoam. Riveting. Uh, actually, the first thing that really stands out is this baby. Holy shit, is this, uh... It is. It's an Elsa Nova statue. It smells clean, too. <laughs> uh, and here's the stand. Axiom Verge and Elsa Nova are intellectual properties of Thomas Happ Games and licensed by IndieBox. Well, then. All right, let's just uh, snap. Let's just snap this right here, and wow, there you go. It's, uh, looks like it would make a nice bookend too, you know? uh, don't you think? But yeah, Elsa Nova. How about that? Ah, so when you get an indie box, it uh, it, it not only comes with the um, with the Steam key if you, in case you don't want to open this box. But it comes with the, the little game cartridge too, in the, in the form of this card. All you have to do is just, um, how do you do this? All you have to do is flip this out, just, how do you do this? Well, I'll find out when I go to this link. Okay, right back in there. Oh, look at that! It's got a little, uh, a little indie box, uh, Axiom Verge thing going on. And here's all of the machine characters that you can meet along, uh, Elsa Nova, and, uh, man, it's been a long time since I've played this, I don't remember any of these guys' names. <laughs> but the stickers, I like that, I like the stickers. Ah, here's, here's the one thing I like the most about this, the soundtrack. I like listening to music, and it looks like it's got all the music on here, uh, including a bonus track that you haven't seen on the game itself. Nice. What's this? It looks like a poster. Oh, 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 this is nice. It's a map of the game. So if you ever wanted a, uh, a walkthrough on how to get through this area and you're lost, well, there you go. You got a little map there. It's, uh, it's nice. It's very nice. <laughs> Hi, Pro Jared. Look at that. Pro Jared's on, in, on the Indie Box newsletter. Uh, oh, hey, it also comes with a little instruction manual, fully illustrated and everything. Oh, man, I remember when uh, Nintendo used to do this with, like, Legend of Zelda? They went, like, so in detail with their game. Oh, man. Well, that's everything. So that's Axiom Verge. The, uh, the back of the box says, like, a failed scientist dies in an accident, only to awaken in a mysterious alien world. Where is he? How did he get here? And why do the fundamental laws of reality appear broken? Life, afterlife, real, virtual, dream, nightmare. It's a thin line. It's Axiom Verge. <laughs> How delightfully pretentious. Oh, well, well, that's Axiom Verge. Now, here's, the, here's the, the best part of the video for people like you. If you've been paying attention to this video, I've said earlier that if you stay, if you stuck around, you can get a chance to get the game yourself. Well, how it works is that I'll pick a random comment in the in the boxes below, and uh, 
those who can answer a little trivia question will get a chance to win a Steam Key for Axiom Verge. Now, I only got one because that's what it came with the Indie Box, but I'm not going to use the Steam Key because I got the cartridge. So, that being said, Axiom Verge is clearly uh, made in, in, by, by uh, Thomas Happ and it's inspired by Metroidvania, but during interviews, Tom Happ also mentioned that this game was inspired by another game. Leave your comments in the boxes below to tell me what that game is. And if you get it right, and if I pick your comment, you get a Steam Key for Axiom Verge. I'm the Blazer of the Terabat, and thank you for watching this unboxing. I'll check you later.